guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are indeed new here, hit that little subscribe down below in the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if it resonates, you know, give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why. Y'all confirmations have been crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm here for it, but it has me shook. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I want to say thank you to anyone who donates, who likes, who sh uh, shares, <laughs> subscribes, anyone who has tipped, super liked, donated decks. I appreciate all the love and the support, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys, and I will always be grateful. Your work in regards to supporting me does not go unnoticed, okay? We are talking about why are people so drawn to you? Okay, I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. The cards have been interesting, the ones that I pre-shuffled. I saw some of them, and <laughs> we're going to find out once I start channeling the energies for each group. As always, you can pick more than one pile if you feel called to. We have four piles today. Pile number one, which is the un no, the Wild Unknown Tarot. Pile number two, which is the Tridivia Deck Tarot. We have pile number three, which is the Star Tarot. And pile number four, which is the Under the Sea Tarot. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that little subscribe again down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if this resonates, you know, hit that little thumbs up, all right? And comment. Let me know how or why, okay? Cleanse, clear, and protect this space. And cleanse, clear, and protect my energy, please, and thank you. Okay, um... As always, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? There's thousands of people watching, so not everything's gonna be for you. And if it doesn't resonate, don't take it, okay? If the reading doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile or you can watch another reading, okay? We're gonna get your current energy, as always, to see if this is even your pile. And I wanna say thank you for watching, okay? If you would like to book a reading, they are still 40% off, okay? And that's going to be probably until... Mm, oh, January 23rd. Sorry. <laughs> so, one, two, three, all right? So, let's get pile number one's current energy. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, there we go. You could be seeing 33 or you could be 33. We have 21, you could be 21 as well. You could be seeing 12, 12, 333 for sure, because this is 333. Then we have Maypool 24, you could be 24, you could be seeing 666. And we have Inner Power. This is some big energy. I actually never saw this card before. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you, Paul. Number one. <laughs> All right. We have ribbons, love spell, maypool, and inner power. A lot of ribbons going on over here. I feel like you guys are in a very fertile energy. Um, this doesn't mean that you have to be like, <laughs> it's easy for you to get pregnant. I'm saying in regards to like your manifestations. Right now, whatever it is that you desire, if you are planting the seeds right now, it will come in. You're tapping into your solar plexus. You guys are very attractive right now, very enticing, very magnetic, okay? With this love spell, it's like your soul is drawing people in, is drawing money, abundance, guidance, support, love. It's drawing, it's drawing in a lot, okay? I don't know what you have done, but you have let go of a lot of baggage, a lot of things from your past that were holding you back, okay? Things that were binding you to who you were. You are letting that go and you are stepping into your truth and becoming who you were always meant to be. A lot of you guys may be spending more time in either nature, in stillness, or even with friends with all these people here. You know, friends, family, loved ones. You're going to be given the opportunity to go out and have fun and dance and, you know, just starting to enjoy life. Starting to enjoy life more, okay? Whatever you did, if you did something on the 1212 portal, that could be relevant as well. But 
at the end of the day, I do feel like a lot of abundance is coming in. You're open to receive now because you have let go of that baggage. I heard worthiness. So there's something about before you didn't have the, the worthiness. You didn't believe. And it could be subconscious, okay? You're like, why isn't the money coming in? Because you didn't feel subconsciously. And whatever you did, okay, maybe inner child healing, um, you know, past relationship healing, maybe healing a mother or father wound, it has really allowed... For these blessings to start rolling in so you know with this 24 2024 i do feel as though it doesn't matter when you're watching this because this is timeless but especially if you're watching this before we step into 2024 2024 i heard it's going to be your year but also is going to be the catalyst for you stepping into your power in regards to using your soul instead of brute force okay and because it says let it be known no will or desire is more powerful than i embodied so you're going to be manifesting from within instead of like putting in so much hard work things are going to be coming in more easily the flow it's going to be more of like <laughs> magic spell work maybe some of you guys do do magic or spell work even if you don't it's about manifestation speaking it into existence feeling it visualization a lot of these tactics if you use them even scripting and stuff like that going to sleep visualizing your life or your next day or waking up in the morning and the first thing you do is say thank you and then you start visualizing that's really going to impact this next year and a lot of you guys are loving on yourself a lot more but you're really attractive and you're drawing in a lot of <laughs> suitors but also friends and maybe past people or some past lovers new lovers a lot of people are going to be coming into your life within the next few months and you're going to see massive amounts of change and it's all because of your inner truth nothing that you're doing outside of yourself people are going to be like what are you doing differently right <laughs> and then you're going to be like i don't know because <laughs> it's like they're like confused like you're getting all this new stuff but you're not doing you're not moving anything differently you're not doing anything that's out of normal you know out of your normandy normandy whatever the hell five 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 but you have made massive amounts of change within your inner reality your soul and that's what's really calling in all these blessings plus some of you guys may either have libra aries cancer or capricorn in your chart and because that is ending a 15 year cycle it a lot of you guys are stepping into a new phase of your life you know closing out all of those past traumas past wounds so if that resonates at all damn <laughs> congratulations <laughs> let's get into your reading all right, pal one, we got kind of big energy, mad people holding up their hands, <laughs> their arms like, yeah, let's go. You're definitely a hype man or hype woman. You're very enthusiastic and, you know, it's pretty much with this actor. It's not that you're, you're act, it's the way you act. Again, you may have picked another pile in another reading. Oh, and it's, all right, so we have be the beacon, be an inspiration, light the way for others immediately. Okay, then with this actor says, you are vibrant and dramatic. Your creative energy and ability to express yourself is dynamic and enthusiastic. See, have the courage to show your true colors and translate the information you need into the parts you play in your life. We have the athlete trapped in fear, eight. You could be a life path, eight. And then we have, or you could be seeing 888 or 88. Transform, okay, alchemist, transform your base motives of goals into wisdom. I'm sorry, golden wisdom. And then dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps. Hand, we're talking about handicaps here, and then there's somebody in a wheelchair right there as well. Interesting. Okay, but develop of personal willpower and strength of spirit. So you guys are you know an inspiration a lot of you guys had things that would hold others back from succeeding or stepping into the spotlight or becoming their best version you know some of y'all could be handicapped or have some type of thing that would cause people not to succeed even mental things in regards to like um i don't know why i heard schizophrenia but 
anxiety, depression, anything like that, you know, that really does cripple or debilitate a lot of people from going after their goals and dreams and yet you continue to transform and you continue to go after your goals and it's like what motivates you and that's what pe why people are drawn to you because they're like, I don't understand how this person, you know, is so inspired and so motivated and so excited, enthusiastic and all this other stuff when they have a lot of things that would hold me back. I would feel trapped and you continue to overcome. A lot of y'all have anxiety, okay? And you still put yourself out there as this confident person and people want to know how. How does this person continue to go out there, okay? Some of y'all definitely could be in the spotlight with this energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like you they would think that you would dial it down or dim it down, okay? And you don't. You put your truth out there. You are very vulnerable. And that's another reason why people are drawn to you. They hear your stories. There's something about your communication and the stories that you tell about who you were and what you have overcome. Or, you know, it's like, <laughs> you'll be doing mad stuff. And then out of nowhere, they're like, oh my God, I didn't know you were doing that. And they're like, yeah, well, I was going through this rough time. And it's always about like you talking about the rough times that you were going through. The information that you provide, it really gives people hope and that's why you're an inspiration. You're a beacon of inspiration for others, okay? Especially others who are going through certain things as well, okay? You might speak to kids. A lot of you guys may be some type of person who speaks in front of crowds or, you know, you do social media or anything like that. You, some of y'all could be an actor or actress. What up? <laughs> or an athlete as well. I heard famous for some of you. I'm <laughs> hi no, i'm just kidding or you're potentially going to be famous <laughs> all right but y'all are popular 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 regardless okay and a lot of you guys have a lot of power and a lot of knowledge that has provided you with you know the information that you need to succeed regardless of what holds you back <laughs> i heard when there's a will there's a way you will always find a way and that is why people are so drawn to you a lot of you guys have a really nice body too, okay, with this athlete. You could be very athletic. You continue to push the limits of your athleticism. Some of y'all could be power lifters or you bench a lot. You could bench double your weight. You could squat more than your weight. There's like something about that for some of you, all right? But or regardless, you're very strong and uh, that's why people are drawn to you as well. There's something about maybe people can see your bodies and, you know, your body and stuff. You also have this ability to keep people calm, focused, and, you know, you entertain people. That's why people are so drawn to you. It's the way you speak. It's like you're a good storyteller and, you know, you get people out of anxious um, situations. Like when people are feeling down and out, you're the person who gets them out of the hole just by talking them through it. You know, if someone's anxious, like, oh, I have to go speak in front of this crowd or whatever. You're the person who's like, you did that before. You killed it. Like, you, some, you're like a motivational speaker. Okay. Again, I was talking about this hype man, hype woman and energy in the beginning. And I feel like a lot of you guys definitely, definitely help a lot of people. Let's just see something real quick. What's this trapped in fear? Yeah, you help people because it's the four of swords in reverse. So that's about like taking action, you know, you motivate people, you help people to trust in their intuition and take action because this is like solar plexus energy. We have all this yellow in this corner, solar plexus energy. Okay. It's about this golden wisdom that you provide. Like, Hey, I know you feel like there's no way out, but like things are going to get better. You really give people hope. You give people hope and you make people happy. The way that you talk, the things that you do, the way that you express yourself, it's like, I don't know, some of y'all could be jokesters, you could be really funny, and that's what really helps people. Like, you transform tough situations. You're a transmuter. With this alchemist, yeah, you transmute energy. You turn lead into gold. You transform pain, fear, anxiety, depression, all of those lower vibrational energies into love, happiness, hope, fulfillment. You get people... You help people regrow. You help people get a second chance on life, okay? You've given yourself a second chance on life. God has given you a second chance on life, source, whatever. And at the end of the day, you trust in spirit. You trust that no matter what, everything is going to be okay. And you always make it out of situations that seem tricky or, you know, that seem like you're never going to get out. And that's another 
reason why people are drawn to you because they're like how does this person do it it's like you have the magic touch it's like you've been blessed by the hand of god and then people are like what's going on here <laughs> like people feel like you're like <laughs> like you've been gifted some type of secret sauce okay nine of cups one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine of cups energy like you literally have the world in your hand you have everything you always get what you want and that's why people are drawn to you because they want to emulate your energy as well and they want to know like how does this person continue to do this okay how does this person continue to inspire people how does this person continue to draw in so much attention you guys don't even have to be attractive okay but at the end of the day you people want to talk to you people come up to you you might have random strangers always wanted to talk to you and then they start telling you everything and it's like you're an amazing listener but also you probably are an empath hence the beacon energy you could be extremely psychic and you are a master manifester you always get what you want okay yeah let's tap into your tarot all right pile number one we have the nine of wands we have the eight of cups we have the nine of pentacles we have the i mean knight mother of pentacles what the hell <laughs> nine of pentacles is relevant too and also the knight but we also have the nine of cups we have the three of pentacles we have the son of cups we have the two of pentacles the father of wands which is the king of wands the mother of pentacles is obviously the yeah, you know. Anyway, <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. All right, look at how many rings, you know? You can tell how old. There's the Four of Swords again. You know, a tree was by the rings after you chop it down, you know? And it's like, with the amount of rings that are on this, it's like your wisdom. That's why people... Are drawn to you and the thing is is like you have this young energy like you're still fun and you know it's like it doesn't matter how old you are okay some of y'all could be older but some of you guys could be younger regardless you look younger and you act mature it's like regardless like you are very wise you know what to do in high pressure situations you know how to overcome pain you transmute pain very easily you have let go of a lot of things and um you've really stepped into your power and that's why people are drawn to you especially people that you have walked away from or set boundaries with they are extra drawn to you, extra drawn to you right now okay because i feel like a lot of people came from where you came okay friends fam or whatever it doesn't matter people that you worked with with this three of pentacles and they've seen your journey they've seen you climb this mountain they've seen you transform they've seen you walk away from things that no longer served you only to take action and walk towards new opportunities that bring about things towards you okay money abundance wheel of fortune yeah you're creating your own luck and that's why people are drawn to you because it's like they see that you live differently we have two butterflies too so heavy transformation energy regardless at the end of the day it's like you live from your heart you go after your goals and your dreams and you manifest them okay a lot of you guys have achieved a lot in your life and you know you're continuing to do so but you're also just fun it's not all work and no play like you are indulging in things too and still getting things done it's like they want to know how you do it like where do you get this balanced energy from how do you still make fun <laughs> how do you still make life fun make work fun and you know even though you've been through tough situations either with family friends or at work a lot of you guys have been through a lot of tower moments that have been noted by a lot of people and these people are drawn because they were like okay i thought this person was out <laughs> i thought this person was done i thought this person was out the game and then they pop up in this mother of pentacles nine of cups energy three of pentacles energy getting new opportunities to collaborate and build things with other people connecting with like-minded people and continuing to be able to juggle a lot in their life you're always busy but you still find time for rest and then you take action it's like you have this routine they want to know what do you do and that's why people are drawn to you they're like what is this per what makes this person different what do they do what how do they think what do they eat how do they breathe <laughs> like it's like that's why people are drawn to you your success 
yes, you're very successful in your own way. It doesn't mean you have to have a lot of money, but some of you could be building a legacy or you already have a legacy, okay? You are very creative and you are very much someone who communicates about your trials and tribulations and how you have overcome, even though you've been hurt, even though you've failed, you know, you still continued to climb up that mountain, and some of you guys, people are drawn to you because they feel as though you would make a good partner. People are drawn to you because you are attractive. They find you attractive in some way, shape, or form. And they see as though, <laughs> you know, they, they, they're they like, I got my eye on you, okay? Like with this Father of Wands energy, it's like people are drawn to you because maybe you're not their usual type for some of you. You may look a little different or something like that. Or they try to figure out, like, how old is this person? They talk like this, but then they look like this. I'm like, I really don't understand. Like, and that's why they're drawn to you, because they want to, like, find out more about you. People want a lot of information. We did have something about information in your... I think it was current energy? Or your, your oracles. At the end of the day, people want to find out how you're so lucky. How do you create your luck? And how are you living? And what are you doing? Okay? Again, there's a big emphasis on you have boundaries and, you know, you're very private and that's why people are drawn to you. You don't talk to a lot of people. At the beginning, I did have the hermit on the bottom of this deck, so that does make sense. It's like a lot of you guys could be hermit or just more secluded or you have a small circle, like three birds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let me stop. But at the end of the day, yeah, you don't really discuss what's going on in your life. You're very private, very mysterious. And um, people just want to know, like, how do you tick? What makes you tick? And what? how do you handle so much? How have you been hurt? And how do you continue to fight and continue to walk? And how are you walking this journey alone or with limited amount of people? You know, a lot of people would have folded like, if they were in your situation or have been through what you've been through, okay? Like, look at this mother freaking ox over here. Like, literally stabbed through the eye, stabbed in the back. You've been betrayed by a certain amount of people. You've been hurt. You've been through a lot. You've been hurt, traumatized for some of you. And, you know, you overcame those traumas. You figured it out. A lot of you guys had things that were physically wrong with you. Maybe you received physical pain as well and you overcame that, okay? Maybe you've been in an accident, and maybe you had certain limitations. Like, it's making, they're making me think of when I got into a car accident and I uh, hit my head on the windshield or whatever, the, the window. And then when I went back to work, I couldn't remember. My short term memory was obliterated, like gone. I would be like taking orders. This is what I worked at Wendy's. I would take an order in the back because I was restocking and then I'll come up to ring it in. And then I have to ask some people, I'm like, yo, what did they order again? Because I would, like, <laughs> what <laughs> squirrel like it was crazy and i healed that okay i did heal it and i wasn't nervous and that's what you got it's like you could have had something life-threatening or you know and you beat it whatever it is that you beat it you beat it and people are like how did they do that because i don't think i would ever be able to handle that i don't think i would ever i would have quit i would have gave up and you never give up on yourself and that's why people are so drawn to you this is so wild you're an amazing friend you care deeply about people, but you have firm boundaries, but you never will disrespect people, okay? You have the venom to do so. You are capable of whooping ass. You're capable of throwing people under. You're capable, and you don't. You're always the bigger person. That's why people are so drawn to you, because you're connected to another pile, and I'm not sure what pile it is, so pile one and something else is, is connected and we'll find out if that's true or not you know what i'm saying because that's only going to resonate for some of you but let me know in the comments because that's what i'm feeling and i feel like that's going to be the continuation of whatever this is because i do feel like there's something there's a storyline here at the end of the day you chose yourself and you are going after your dreams and goals and you're creating a legacy you're doing this for your family for close friends loved ones and you're doing this most importantly for yourself because you believe in yourself and you know like i'm not doing this for outside validation i'm doing this to help others and i'm doing this for me to to, to prove to myself that i am capable of doing this thing you know to overcome these mental things that have told me i'm not worthy of this or i can't do this it's not possible you don't say that i can't is not in your vocabulary anymore or you're getting out of that if it is sometimes because <laughs> you're like nah I'll figure it out, baby. We gonna do it. But damn, pile. Pile one, I think you're probably gonna be the longest pile. I love you guys. And keep doing what you're doing because you will reach the top of that mountain. You are destined for success. Let's be real. And uh, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. 
Hey, what's up, pal number two? It's your girl, Drea, and it's the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit the little subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if this resonates, you know, give me a thumbs up and comment and let me know how or why, baby. I'm here for it, okay? We are, you know, going to see your current energy. If this doesn't resonate, you know, then you can watch another pile watch another reading or go about your day on your merry way okay keep in mind not all these messages may resonate hopefully it mes resonates like a personal but you know if it doesn't you know just don't let these messages take from you we are channeling for thousands of people here so use your discernment one on one and your intuition baby so pile number two's current energy don't forget to subscribe and thank you to all my subscribers, returning viewers. Bottom of the deck is boundaries. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all have really long hair. Your boundaries are definitely, definitely. Someone may crochet or sew or knit. You may be really into fashion as well that's coming through. But it's like, you're... It's not that you're not forgiving people because you definitely have forgiven a lot of people who have crossed you or crossed your boundaries, okay? Your confidence is on 100 and you're very grounded and you trust your intuition. But people seem to continue to get offended by your boundaries. And it's that's a them issue, but just make sure that you're not allowing that to take from you, okay? And it's, it's just, there's big emphasis on, you know, maybe you've set a couple boundaries with friends you've been a little distant and it feels like people are either offended or questioning and uh don't be surprised when people start reaching out and like saying like did i do something are we okay um we have cow may the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming yeah a lot of you guys people sleep on you because you're this cute little cow but then all of a sudden you have these fierce boundaries and you're motivated and you're creating things like we have growth giving hermit with that but also some of y'all may be harry potter fans <laughs> ayo there's Someone definitely sews because we have sewn and then it says sewn again inside myself I've sewn beauty with wounds which speaks of my immortality and the expansive eternal song softly bellowing in spirit Some of you guys may be singers as well, but there's big emphasis on like Y'all have definitely been hurt wounded and you know regardless maybe physically But you continue to grow and become better and you continue to climb up this Mountain, there's a lot of mountains in the background. Some of y'all are, are like hikers. We have sun god, Jesus, this is big energy. Come all, come now, expand into the skies and into the shadows below. Okay, a lot of you guys have this dark side to you, but it's like you're in control. You know how everyone has two wolves, okay? That, that, that saying like about everyone has like evil or good you know again yin and yang and this is true we all have positive negative whatever you want to call it right feminine masculine and it's good to stay balanced and you guys are very balanced and you have the potential to go to the dark side like Voldemort you have the potential to allow your pain and the pains that have been passed on from your generations from your grandfathers and grandmothers and your parents etc your lineage you know a lot of you have been holding a lot of pain a lot of you have been feeling and, and and you have had to live through not only the pain that was inflicted on you as you grew but also the pain of your ancestors you've carried that before you even had the pain inflicted onto you since you were conceived and you haven't had an easy life and it's it's giving hyper independence you know a lot of you guys are very attractive and very you know pretty i heard pretty privileged for some of you and you might get a lot of hate you know and that's why you stay solitude because it's like you can't win and all you are is this kind caring person who's trying to grow and become better and you know you were very kind and over giving sometimes and you depleted yourself and that's why you have these boundaries but now it's like people are taking it personally and this is just a message to remind you do not get offended do not take it personally if somebody is taking your limits personal 
Okay? You know? The people who are meant to be in your life will communicate to you how they feel. If they feel offended, you know, that is... That is an issue that they do need to deal with, but you can reassure them and let them know, like, hey, I'm focused on my growth. I need more time to myself. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Give them an explanation. A lot of you guys are, like, probably avid ghosters. I relate. I understand. And sometimes it's hard. It's hard to communicate. Sometimes it's hard to get vulnerable. Maybe you need help and you don't want to ask for help, okay? Maybe you could be, you know, trying to figure things out on your own because that's all you've done your whole life. And maybe that's why you isolate and that's why you ghost people and that offends people because they feel like you need something, but they're like, I don't know, I can't talk to this person. They just, they're not answering me and stuff like that. Some of you guys need to reach out to the ones that you truly care about and keep them in the loop and just let them know, okay? If you have to do this in isolation, let them know. Like, it's nothing you did. I just need more time to myself. I'm going through a lot. This is how I process. And I respect and I love and appreciate you for checking in. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just leaving them on red. And some of you guys, you know, ask them for help or tell them what's going on and actually talk to them. Vent. Let it out, okay? A lot of you guys will free yourself and they will help you and love you the same and support you and, and you know, I know sometimes it's scary to ask for help because one, it's like people could use that as an advantage and all this other stuff because a lot of y'all have been through things where that's happened, where people hold things against you and it's like, okay, but I would never do that to you. But I think that if you trust your intuition, you'll know exactly who you can trust and who you can talk to and who you can ask for help, okay? That was deep. My God. <laughs> so let's get into your oracles. All right. How to. Why are people so drawn to you? We have stand in your power. Be passionate about your vision. Bring about positive change. We have banker. Do you wish to increase your wealth to obtain more financial security? Trust that you have the ability to be successful and prosperous in a loving and healthy way. Simply activate your inner money manager and achieve your goals. Big emphasis on achievement. Hmm. We have engineer, ability to give creative energy, a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. And we have the third eye chakra, six. You could be seeing six, 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 five, five, five. And we also have the mediator, gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. Big emphasis on like speech, okay? We have a sword over here. We have a sword which makes me think of swords, which is mental speech. All that good stuff, okay? A lot of you guys are very much in your power in regards to your speech. You have a creative way of speaking. Your Mercury could be in Pisces. I don't know, that's random. My Mercury's in Pisces, but I digress. You're very passionate. You have a vision for life and you're a, half, a glass half full kind of energy. And that's why people are drawn to you. Instead of looking at the problem, you look for solutions with this engineer, okay? You fix common dilemmas with ease. You're like, this is... <laughs> what is that? That ain't shit. Let's go. Give me, give me some real tasks. Give me something real challenging. You're always up for the challenge. Okay, you could be, <laughs> you could be very competitive. You could be very successful in your field, whatever that is. And you could always continue to succeed. And it's like, you climb the ladder in regards to life, in regards to, it's your only competition is yourself too. And that's why people are drawn to you. Yeah, some people may be in secret competition with you the whole time. You're just competing with yourself. You're not worried about the other people. You're worried about yourself, you know? I'm not saying that you're worried, you don't care about other people because clearly you do. You want to bring about positive change to all the people. You could be very good at giving advice, okay? And that's what draws people to you as well. They're like, oh, Pal 2 will definitely know what to do. Again, problem solver energy. You always find solutions. And, you know, you are also, you hold yourself accountable. If you fuck up, you admit it. You're very honest, okay? And you always speak your truth. But you take intuitive actions. You trust your intuition. And that's how you make the changes. Some of y'all could definitely be psychic. Clairvoyance is coming through. Maybe you receive messages in dreams, but regardless, at the end of the day, you go after your goals and dreams. And the thing is, is like you trust your intuition and then you create that. You, you create whatever it is. You may have a vision and then we have, you know, ability to give creative energy a practical expression. You have a lot of talents and gifts. You make things reality. You create a lot of things and you, and you 
create pathways for people. A lot of you guys notice the talents of others and then you tell people and you, you give them guidance. You're like this person who can help people in regards to figuring out their path, figuring out their purpose, or helping them to figure out whatever, life, money, you know, it doesn't matter. Figure out what's going on with an argument, okay? You can also figure out people's motives. You're a people reader. You can see through people, okay? If something is off about a person, you tell people straight up, and then people end up seeing evidence of that, and they're like, damn. Because you trust your intuition. You speak on it. Like, when you see something, whether or you feel something because your intuition you say something but you're not going to be biased okay with this meteor mediator energy with this libra you see both sides of the situation you're very fair and that's why people come to you for advice people come to you when they're going through something people are drawn to you because you help you're a helper you're a helper you're a healer and you're a guide and you can help people through tough situations a lot of you guys definitely could work in law you would be amazing in law okay you could be amazing debaters as well i i feel like you know yes you can see and acknowledge somebody's um side but you're also like all right well i see your point but then you know it's like you clap back with why you agree and you can shift people you can shift hard-headed perspectives you can 444 help people shift out of a closed-minded mindset and you make people believers you know by your speech again we have like this ancestry coming through as well people may be drawn to you because of your ethnicity people may be drawn to you because um you're very intelligent you create a lot of things people also uh are drawn to you because you are trustworthy either you have a trustworthy face you're just trustworthy based off of what people have known and seen you just have a gift for people you know how people work you're very versed in um maybe body language or you really trust your intuition in regards to uh you could be clairsentient an empath and you can feel people's that pe pe people's <laughs> <laughs> you're very um you can pick up on social cues or pick up on energies you can tell when there's tension in the room you can tell when people are throwing shade and you can see through a lot of things people draw to you because you can see through them you you listen to them and then you talk them through this but also you live a very healthy lifestyle okay and it doesn't mean you're like an epitome of perfect healthy because there's no such thing i digress but all i'm saying is like you always try to do your best you always do your best and that's why people are drawn to you because they wish to be more like you they want to you know succeed they want to be more honest you're very honest too and to your detriment okay and i'm not saying to your detriment but some may see it as that I don't see anything wrong with you being honest, but people feel like you could have just not spoke your truth. But at the end of the day, they do see that it works for you and it brings a resolution no matter what. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you can, you, you can help people to see your side and you always have a strategy for when something is going on. You always have a backup plan. You always got a, ba uh, a plan B, which people really need because when shit starts to hit the fan, they can turn to you and you're like, it's okay, we got this. We're going to do this instead, this, this, and this, you know? Strategist, whatever. I can't even say it. <laughs> you're very strategic. Um, you bring about success. Anyone who's in your life is successful and that's what people are drawn to. They're like... Well, these people are hanging around Pile 2, and I see them heading towards success. They're becoming better ever since they started hanging around Pile 2. They, they're changing, and it's a positive change, and they're going after their passions, etc., etc., and that's why people are drawn to you. You're very successful. You're very prosperous, very loving, and it's like you you have a manage over your life. Even if you feel like you don't, you pretty do. You, you pretty much do. Okay, yeah, we don't always have our shit together, but a lot of you guys are very much, <laughs> very, very good at keeping your shit together, keeping your cool in tough situations, and that is why people are drawn to you. Let's tap into your tarot. All right, pal two, why are people so drawn to you? First things first, you are extremely passionate about life. You are always excited. It's like 
you're not always happy, but you will always put a smile on your face. I <laughs> heard, put a smile on your face. Make the world a better place. What you gonna do if I watch? <laughs> That's so funny. I haven't heard that song in forever. But main agenda over here is you make your dreams a reality. You don't let your trials and tribulations hold you back. You don't let missed opportunities deter you. You are slow and steady wins the race. Knight of Pentacles energy, Page of Swords. You're very curious. You're always learning new things. You ask a lot of questions and you figure things out. Again, you listen to people. You listen to people and, you know, yeah, you, you take words in, but you really focus on the actions that they take and that's why people are drawn to you because they're like how did you see through this person they said they was going to do this and then they did this but you know that they was going to do that instead of doing this and it's like well based off of <laughs> like your little computer it's like you guys are robots <laughs> not that you're robots you not that you're robotic okay some of you guys could be extremely serious but i think that you still have this playful playful energy it's like you're serious when you need to be but then you know you'll let your hair down you'll have fun you'll be the life of the party it's like there's two sides to you business pleasure no in between <laughs> when you go for the pleasure you 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 <laughs> you make it worth it baby you make all the work that you put in worth it and that's why people are drawn to you because it's like you'll work hard but you play harder okay you're definitely super fun and you know the thing about you guys is yes you're slow and steady wins the race you see something and you invest in it and if it doesn't work out you're not going to give up you're going to pivot you're going to change your opportunity you're going to change your path you're going to change your pace you're going to make positive changes to achieve whatever it is that you want because you always achieve what it is that you want even if it takes time with this knight of pentacles energy you will get there Okay, you will get there. It's just going to take time. Like maybe you say, oh, I'm going to lose weight. And then it takes you years. But then you got, you lost weight. People are like, wow, you know, this person did say they were going to lose weight. But it's like, you're not dropping pounds immediately. Your, your, your longevity, you focus on longevity. You have the ability to not get instant gratification. And um, you're very disciplined. And that's why people are drawn to you. Because they're like, how? Like, I lose my motivation to go to the gym after two weeks. And then all of a sudden, this person's been going for, like, years. And they weren't seeing results in two weeks. A lot of people expect results like that. You understand the way the world works. You understand the compound effect. You understand that you need to keep working towards things. And then you'll get momentum. You build up big mo. And then the rest is history. That's when things get easy for you. And then people are like, why is this so easy for you? Girl, boy, quit playing. I've been doing this for years. What you mean? I worked for this. I studied for this. I, did, I had to, you know, you guys make sacrifices. And that's why people are drawn to you. You make sacrifices. You made sacrifices. You've done a lot. You have a lot of wisdom. You're a guiding light. And a lot of y'all have style, too. You look good no matter what, okay? You could be dressed bummy and still look really nice. And people are drawn to you because of you ha your energy. You have this magnetic pull to you, okay? With this Ace of Wands and this Empress energy. <laughs> Physically, you look very conventionally attractive, but you have a lot of sex appeal and a lot of creative energy that your sacral chakra may be a little overactive sometimes. <laughs> It draws in a lot. And that's also why you manifest very easily as well. You take creative paths. You you find solutions in creative ways. Let's just say that. It's like, ah, people are like, I never would have thought to do that. Thanks. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's that kind of vibe. And that's why people are drawn to you. People watch what you do. You see, um, a lot of people talk highly about you as well. But it's like, you're always going after what inspires you, what lights you up. And, you know, you help others to figure out what lights them up as well, what they should invest in. You help people. T you're never boring either. Let's just say that you're not boring. And that's why people are drawn to you. Like you, again, kind of similar to another pile. You're very entertaining, but it's like unique. It's not to say that you're trying to be a pick me or trying to get everyone to look at you. Like, look, at, look at me. Look at No, you draw that in by just sitting where you're at. 
you could be sitting in the corner not talking to anybody and someone will come up to you and talk to you even if you don't want someone to talk to you and that's why people are drawn to you because you just have this light this energy this this draw this je ne sais quoi this you know and you're also very reliable and you know you have this dreamy energy it's giving Janaeco with the seven of cups pisces again and i do feel like also we have libra energy and taurus heavy with the empress and the hierophant right next to each other and then we also have sagittarius aries and leo okay but at the end of the day it's like you never give up on your dreams you'll build a firm foundation and you'll get to that for uh, that ten of pentacles, you know, you're at the four of pentacles, you're investing in your dreams, you're working hard with this eight of pentacles, you're building a web that's going to catch so much for you, you know, and the sacrifice is, you know, you have to wait, and you understand the wait, you understand putting in work, and then doing other things while you wait, you know, you're investing, you invest in yourself, you have patience, you grow these seeds, but you always get your nine of cups, you always get what it is that you want. You get that gratification. It takes a little longer than others, but then people see that it's worth it. And then that's why people are drawn to you because they're like, okay, whatever this person, whatever Pal 2 is doing, it's definitely working for them. And I want to know what what they're doing. So let's, let's talk some. But yeah, you're definitely like the life of the party without having to be the life of the party. It's definitely because your energy, but also you talk about a lot of things that a lot of people may be interested in, but feel socially they can't talk about you know you may be into the occult or into aliens and conspiracy theories and stuff like that and then you get people's minds going that's the thing about you guys is you start talking about what about this what if this could happen what if about this like and then you start getting people actually thinking about doing these things and you inspire a lot of people again we were talking about that and maybe it was this pile i'm not sure but you definitely inspire people to take the high road you inspire the people to become the bigger person the better person you inspire others to drop things okay to not be so petty to you know not lose life over drama and like focused on other people you bring people's focus to what can you create what can you bring to the world but a lot of you guys are very like adventurous you're maybe big on traveling and you may travel a lot and that's why people are drawn to you as well you could be very exotic looking again like i was saying you could be you maybe like to travel to exotic places and then the people who are there the natives are like this person does not look like you know someone who's from here or even where you're at you just don't look like you you have this exotic ethereal very unique look and that's why people are drawn to you because one they pretty much want to know what your what your ethnicity is they might do this little guessing game and just not be able to get it and stuff like that you could have a really unique um ethnicity there's something about that that keeps coming through but also it's like your belief systems you know what you believe in religious or not or whatever you believe in you may just believe whatever you want to believe and it works for you and people are very intrigued by that and that's why they want to know and study your beliefs as well a lot of people are drawn to your social media as well you could be a creator or you could teach or maybe do makeup or you know do hauls or something i don't know what you do some of y'all could work through social media and you know you could have your dream job too and that could also be another reason why people are very drawn to you as well because you're living like your dream life slowly but surely and people are starting to see that and that's why they're drawn to you they're like okay this person started has a lot of options this person's like creating gold this person is investing in their dreams slowly but surely they never seem like they're bored but they're okay with doing nothing it's like how like you know you're not pressured you don't feel pressure like oh i need to be doing something you don't get that energy like you're very calm because you trust in the divine and you have faith you know that everything's always going to work out and you're that support system for a lot of people as well Whew. you could be into astrology as well and that's why people are drawn to you because you may say things or you could just be really psychic and then you say things and people are like what how did they know that like i did not tell like what is where's your source Who, who's your source <laughs> All right, pile number two, that's what I got for you. I hope you have an amazing day, night, and whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's going on, pile three? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe down below and join the fam. 
and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post some new content. I'll only take what resonates, guys, okay? Thousands of people are watching this, so as always, not message, not every message may be for you, okay? And if it is, then, you know, that's amazing. I like, my intention is that it feels like a personal, okay? If you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box. They are still 40% off until 1, 2, 3, aka January 23rd, 2024, okay? We are going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. And if it's not, you know, you can pick another pile, watch another reading, or just live your life. Do what makes you happy, okay? <laughs> so, pile number three. Pile threes. Current energy. I heard shine, bright, shine, far, don't be shy, be a star. Life size could be relevant. Lindsay Lohan, 111. So random. Okay, we got four for you. Some of y'all may be pregnant or your mother or a father. You could have children. You don't have to be. You could be a godmother or godfather as well. We have Stone Circle. We have Guadis. Let me cover her cheeks. <laughs> Some of y'all definitely got a fat butt. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding though. We have Wildcat. We have Leo Energy coming through. We have Maiden. Okay, someone may have protective styles you could have braids could have curly hair as well and we have creation okay how about we make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because that's irritating me someone may have ocd or ocd tendencies so let's get into it baby oh you could be seeing five 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 four 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 two 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 eight 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 six 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 12 12 again hmm interesting okay make sure to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe a lot of you guys are shifting your perspective okay a lot of you guys maybe you were raised upon doubt and fear it's given like you're trying to break the generational curse especially if you do have children if not it doesn't matter. It's like you're just trying to break the gener generational curses that were placed upon you. Maybe you were treated very harshly. Maybe you received more criticism than um, praise a lot. Maybe you had to work for love. And maybe that's why love has always been kind of a tough situation for you. Some of you may have already overcome that and some of you guys have not. But it says, in Sarami ceremony <laughs> jeremy someone's name could be jeremy in ceremony you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into yourself so pretty much you are worshiping yourself you're rebuilding your self-confidence and your courage and you're stepping into this massive transformation okay you could be receiving a lot of downloads with this golden energy around her head and I think a lot of you guys are grounding whatever it is that you want to manifest and you're grounding your truth into this world, okay? Through the darkness, I crossed and still found myself in the presence of life. You guys went through a lot of darkness. Some of you guys are going through a dark night of the soul right now where you have been through many, okay? Let's be real. People are always like, oh, love and light in the spiritual journey. <laughs> no. All right, let's be real. Let's be real. Duality. Hello. And it's Okay. You don't have to focus on the darkness, but in order to see the light, you have to go through the darkness, okay? You can't see the light without the darkness, you know? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to differentiate. Anyway, I digress. We're not talking about that. At the end of the day, it says, be still and tune in. Big emphasis on you tuning into your feelings, using that as a guidance system, but not allowing your feelings to take from you. A lot of you guys used to react, but now you're learning how to respond. You're learning to use your emotions as a guidance system, but you're not allowing your emotions to represent who you are. You know, it's like, I am not angry. I feel angry. I am not sad. I feel sadness. You're, you're, you're starting to change that. You're not allowing sadness to become who you are. And you're not allowing your emotions to overcome you or run your life anymore. Some of y'all could have definitely been super emotional. And now it's like you're finding yourself and you're finding your people. Okay. And then we have demand what is yours. Take back what was taken reclaim until you've gathered all of yourself you're reclaiming your power you could be calling back your energy daily and nightly if you don't do that i highly recommend when you wake up and when before you go to sleep say i call back all my energy and power from all people places energy whatever 
Um, I call it back cleanse, have vibrational, and however you want it to come back to you, okay? Healing, and a lot of you guys are healing, okay? You could be healing a mother wound, and, you know, you're really stepping into your power right now, and people are definitely gonna start calling you wild because it's like, you're gonna be taking a lot more risks, and, you know, you're gonna feel scared at first, but you understand, and you're trusting, and you're, you're creating, you're making choices, and you're, the thing about you guys is like, you used to give to everybody. You used to give to the wrong people. People maybe love bombed you a lot and you've dealt with maybe some narcissists in your life or people who had narcissistic tendencies. Not diagnosing anyone, obviously. At the end of the day, a lot of people took from you, okay? Belittled you, beat you down, caused you to get into this darkness and now it's like you're coming out of this darkness. You're coming out as the wild card people thought you were gonna stay down people tried to stomp you stomp out your fire stomp you out put you out you know make you miserable so you never go after your dreams and your goals make you feel like you're not capable and now you're stepping up and you're like ah, i'm gonna show them i was made for this okay um but at the end of the day you guys are stepping into a new life you're reclaiming yourself and your power and it's like you're stepping into self-love your self-love self-care journey you're focusing on you know the people who really care about you who really support you and you're letting go of a lot of things that have hurt you and harmed you and you know you're processing a lot okay a lot of you guys used to think it was all your fault and you know people gaslit you into thinking that it was your fault but now you're realizing it was not my fault i did nothing wrong and everything's okay i am okay there's nothing wrong with me it's okay to be different People try to put you in a box, make you not who you were, but you are who you are and you're accepting that and loving yourself regardless. So if that resonates at all, let's get into your oracles. Okay, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are the diamond in the rough, okay? A lot of people didn't think you were diamond. A lot of people didn't see your potential. And, you know, that's the thing is, is like you tried so hard because for some reason, you know, well, we all know why. It's inner child wounds or something, you know, whatever, regardless, you guys gave hope and joy and you would always treat people kindly. And it got to the point where you got hurt so bad that you withdrew and you stopped playing hero for people. You help the people who help you. You're big on reciprocation. And that has a lot of people triggered, I heard. And that's why people are so drawn to you because one, people who don't know you, they hear about you and then they see a different story and they want to figure out for themselves. They are aware that you have like this kind of independence to you with this hermit energy. You could be definitely connected to another pile. They are aware that, you know, you are still a, a shining bright light and you know a lot of people and you're someone who's trustworthy and people do trust you. And Again, we have this inspiring energy, you empower others and you make people motivated to start a new journey. If someone says, I wanna change my life, you're like, okay, here's how. Like, you give them a game plan and you help people to manifest. And, you know, okay, we have cosmic diamonds, spread hope and joy, illuminate the world. You know, you are a light worker, okay? That's why people are drawn to you. It is in your essence. You could be 30 or 39. But we also have visual artists. Some of you guys could actually be artists, and that's another reason why people are drawn to you. You know, you have this creative, like, mysterious aspect to you where, you know, you just process and you look at the world differently and you help others to see the beauty without having to just take a picture. You know, you help people to see the beauty in places where people would not really see beauty. You change people's perspectives and that's why people are drawn to you. You take pictures, a lot of y'all could definitely be photographers because I keep talking about taking pictures, but I digress. You have this special, you're just a special soul. You know what I'm saying? You're a special soul clears out dark energy you're very strategic as well with this this makes me think of like a chess piece okay you save a lot of people i could be your hero baby <laughs> you you've probably saved a lot of people that you have no idea that you have saved through by means i don't know what kind of means maybe your art maybe you could be a writer um i don't know whatever you create 
saves people, helps people to feel better, helps to bring joy, helps to bring people hope, you know? Very similar to another pile you maybe could have come from that pile. Some of you guys are very much good. <laughs> What's strong? You guys could dress very well as well. You could be very visually attractive and uh, some of you guys could dress a little provocative or show some skin here and there and then some of you guys may keep it concealed but people can see what you're working with and they want to know what's behind that you know fabric what's going on but at the end of the day you are very much tapped into yourself you're a creator and you receive inspiration beyond what others would think okay you see the world through a different lens and your thoughts are very, very organized. Again, with the strategic energy, you could be a, a avid reader. And, you know, you guide people. You tell people, oh, maybe you should read this book. Maybe you should go to this seminar and stuff like that. I don't know, that's random for some of you. I feel like that's only for a few of you. At the end of the day, you help people, you build people up, you boost people, and you boost their confidence. You help to create creatives, you help to create more light workers, you help to get people out of this dark gossipy energy into a more light energy, into a more, I need to figure myself out, I'm gonna go within, spend time with myself, but still spend time with the people that I love and care about, okay? You are very much a person who helps others to see, you know, their fault, maybe, You've been around people who gossiped and you're like, I don't know why you're talking bad about this person. Like, you have no idea the my, like, what their journey is. You have no idea how it feels to walk in their shoes and you point that aspect out to others and you really give people reality checks and that's why people are drawn to you. Because I think their team pushes you to meet certain people to be a catalyst to be that to to initiate people's spiritual awakening you know you are definitely a catalyst and to be a catalyst is not easy it's not easy at all and you know you may have lost a lot of friends and a lot of people you may have outgrown a lot of people hence this gossip energy which i'm going to clarify let's just gossip in regards to why people are drawn to pile oh shit <laughs> They don't know what to think of you. You're very mysterious. You're the talk of the town and people are definitely because falsifying information, secret information. You're very secretive. You're very, oh yeah, it says passing on private or secretive information. You're very secretive. Okay. You've been betrayed a lot. You're very rare and that's why people are drawn to you. You're very intuitive. You're very mysterious and you're very balanced, but it's like you are very much on your own path and on your own journey. You can see the forest through the trees and a lot of people can't and you bring that to people's Mindset. We've got the magician too. You're definitely a master manifester as well. Or you create things out of nothing. You can fix any situation. Regardless, um, you're very magical. Very ethereal. Very connected to the other side. Very psychic for some of you. Again, lightworker energy. Um, <laughs> witch, warlock. You could be very witchy and stuff like that. Into the occult as well. But a lot of you guys don't tell what's going on so people make up shit you could be saying 999 and 333 but people make up shit and it's like you just don't care you don't entertain gossip you don't give people anything to talk about besides your success and people have to make up shit to feel better about themselves people have to you know people are always talking about you because one you're not giving out no information and you're very much focused on yourself with the solitude energy you spend a lot of time by yourself so people want to clock you maybe you were very popular in the past and now it's like you only spend time with the chosen few because you cut off a lot of Texas uh toxic not text someone from Texas <laughs> everything's bigger in Texas some of y'all packing no I'm just kidding yeah, no, you you definitely got a nice... People are very sexually attracted to you with this orange energy, carnelian, sacral chakra, okay? Very similar to another pile. People get very aroused when they see you. And that's why immediately people are talking about you. Oh my god, pile three is so hot. Who is this pile three? Because you're very mysterious. People see you. You're this rare beauty, rare, sex appeal, very handsome or beautiful. And people are just like, who is this person? Like, 
And just people are very curious about you. And that's why people are drawn to you because they want to find out more. They get a little bit of taste of your energy. And especially the people that you may have left behind in the past. But it's like regardless at the end of the day, people are very drawn to you because people talk about you. Whether once they see you, first glance, they immediately have something to talk about. Maybe you just are a rebel in regards to the style that you wear. You might wear bright colors and stuff like that. But you, regardless, you're conventionally attractive with this Queen of Wands energy. And you're very magnetic. You have beautiful eyes and, you know, a heart of gold. You wear your heart on your sleeve sometimes, but only some people can see that. Your hair is always on point or always lined up. Or always looking good even when it's in a messy bun and shit like that like you they feel like how does this person get the perfect messy bun people want to know where you get certain things as well you could be big on I heard health and wellness fitness uh, you get like all the things first you just giving trailblazer energy and you could be a very reb rebellious type of person who doesn't dress like everybody else. You don't follow trends, you create trends. <laughs> or you start doing trends after the fact because you do what you like. You do things because of yourself. You don't seek outside validation and that's what draws people in because it's like... They want to know more about you because it's like, why this person doesn't even look at me? Like, you may not make a lot of eye contact. You know, you scan a room real quick and then you just move forward. You know, I'm not saying that you put your head down. Maybe some of you guys do put your head down and you, you avoid eye contact. That's only for half of this collective. And then the other half is looking at people and then they move on. They look away real quick. They're not staring you down. You know, it's like, you're just like, whatever. I don't really care. I'm not really interested in you. And because you don't stare at them or gawk at them or obsess with them and stuff like that, especially like popular people. That's why people tend to start maybe rumors about you because they feel offended because they're like, oh, is this, this person probably thinks they're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> like no I'm just focused on myself that's the thing you guys are focused on yourself you're very self-focused people may think you're selfish and you're always bringing about new opportunities some of you guys are hilarious too and you make a lot of people laugh and that's the thing it's like you'll be by yourself and then you know you start talking to somebody immediately they're laughing and then everyone else is looking at you could have a very loud voice too when you talk it's like you don't talk a lot but when you do talk people hear it you could have a very distinct voice as well but when you're laughing it's like everybody's laughing with you people are probably laughing at your laugh too it's like you just bring joy to every aspect when you're there you know and it's it's rare that you're there and that's the thing is like you're very exclusive and elusive and that's why people are drawn to you because the less of a thing or a person you know the less easy it is to get it's like you're hard to get legit not like you're playing hard to get you guys are very hard to get and that makes you more valuable in the eyes of the people in the world okay <laughs> so let's tap into your tarot all right pile three why are people so drawn to you again you are very connected it's like you can feel when someone's sad or when someone needs to pick me up and you just know what to say and people are drawn to that because it's like every time i leave pile three i feel better <laughs> i learned something I've grown in some way. They've given me hope when I was hopeless. They've helped me to build a foundation with myself. They helped me to look at myself differently. Again, a lot of boosting self-esteem. You may remind people of their successes or what their talents are instead of criticizing them. You're not big on criticizing, okay? You are very much more focused on the lighter aspects it's not to say that you don't have darkness or anything like that but you know you're very independent and you teach others how to be independent you teach others that they have the capabilities to accomplish whatever they need to accomplish and you know you know how to connect with people you know how to build friendships with people you know how to listen and and speak at the same time you don't speak you don't listen to respond you listen to learn you listen to observe and to you know gain knowledge or whatever it is that you're trying to to figure out you know it's not that you're like you're listening and then you're like well you should do this this and this you just actively listen you'll be like yeah i get that mm-hmm 
Mm -hmm. Like nodding, engaging, making eye contact. And that's why people are so drawn to you. Something about your eye contact. Maybe you guys have fierce eyes or very beautiful eyes. It could be your eye color, eyelashes. You could have nice eyebrows. Your face, is it draws people in. You, you have something about your face that is very beautiful. Maybe you have a beauty mark or a birthmark or a beautiful smile, a welcoming smile I'm hearing. Your eyes light up. You have open eyes. You know, the thing about, like, people is, like, as they lose trust in the world, their eyes tend to close, okay? And um, maybe they tend to be more pessimistic and stuff, but you're really an optimist, okay? You're very big on connections that are filled with love and support. You know how to party, again, <laughs> very much so. And, you know, you make tough situations easier, okay? You're a, a student for life. You never stop learning. You're very easy to work with. People who work with you are definitely drawn to you or people are drawn to you at work. Like, people would probably probably rather do business with you or engage with you at work or choose you than other people. You're highly favored. You're, like, the number one choice. People feel like, I don't know. You have this light to you. You have this beauty, this limitless potential. You, it's like you have the key. You're the key to people's success. You're the key to people's growth. You're the key to people's independence. You're the key, again, catalyst energy. Again, you are very much well-versed in all the elements, okay? I don't feel like, and maybe your chart has like an equal or even amount of all the elements or something like that, okay? But it's like you are good at <laughs> all things emotional you're very intuitive you're very good at speaking and you're very intelligent you are very grounded stable okay money we have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles queen of pentacles you could be very good with money or you look very luxurious <laughs> nine of pentacles too i didn't even peep that i forgot about that and the four of pentacles you're stable you're secure you're ascended okay it's like you're an embodiment of an ascended, ascended master again Mother Mary, Jesus vibes, like, you know, but, um, yeah, and then it's like, you're also very passionate, very fiery, very funny, very motivated, very creative, okay, with this page of wands energy, it's like, you're down for adventure, you're down to try new things and explore, and you're, you're okay with change, you'll knock down the building to rebuild it. It's like you've failed a lot in your life and you have always realized that, yeah, maybe I've lost these three cups, but, you know, there's always the rainbow after the storm, okay? Big emphasis on, like, you help people who are very sad to feel better. Like, like if, if you're a dopamine hit. Like, that's what it is. Like, you're like a drug, and that's why people are so drawn to you. Your energy, your essence everything about you it's like you're perfection without being perfection because obviously you're not perfect but you are the closest thing to perfection in people's eyes like that's what i'm getting you're not afraid to afraid to change you're not afraid to start over you're not afraid to cut off people who you know could be toxic and you don't care and you'll let them watch you're like let them watch i'm not gonna block them i'm just not talking to you no more Go ahead, watch my journey watch my success and that's why people are drawn to you they're like oh you don't talk to this person yeah no i don't did you block them? Nah, they could watch. They could block me if they want. <laughs> yeah. But you don't give a shit about gossip again because that was in your oracles, I'm pretty sure. And it's like a lot of people talk about you. A lot of people watch your social, watch your social media. A lot of people want to figure out what's going on with you. You guys are very wise, very intelligent, and you're very peaceful. You bring this peaceful energy, and yet you're exciting. And, and like, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you embody peace, and yet you embody excitement at the same time? Like, it's crazy. You could be a parent, too, or, you know, you could have a family. And um, that's why people are drawn to you as well. Or people view you with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles as somebody like a lifelong partner worth investing in, you know? Very mysterious, very intuitive, very cuddly. Some of you guys could be very cute and cuddly, but also fierce. Like, you're giving grizzly bear, like a grizzly, oh, I want to hug a bear. Go ahead. It will tear you apart. It will maul you, okay? And you have that potential. It's like, you know you have the potential to, to 
cut somebody up with your sword. <laughs> you could have a unique vocabulary as well, and that's why people are drawn to you. You could be very well versed in the dictionary, okay? Like Eminem, he read the whole dictionary. Uh, I don't really know. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, <laughs> like you could use big words or words that people don't really use. They don't have to be big words, but you, you're very intelligent. And the way you speak, it's like people judge you because you may look like this extremely like cuddly. You look cute, you know, adorable, you know, playful. You don't look as advanced as you really are and the wisdom that you have really catches people by surprise and that's what draws people in but you know you could be very luxurious you're very giving generous you give good gifts when you're at the parties and stuff like that you make it fun you make it you could also be a really good cook too or you're a foodie you could recommend a lot of places or um you know, something about social media, maybe you post social media content that it doesn't have to be food per se, but whatever it is that you post on social media, it's some type of creative venture that does provide a pick me up because of how you engage on social media. It's not to say that you put your whole life out there because we have the hermit again, you know, you're very private, but you do put something out in the world and whatever that is, it is like a beacon. It is a light and it helps people to transform and you give people hope and you help people to become better. You know, you help people to rebuild after tough times. Like you could help the homeless and help the less fortunate and you could be an advocate for, or an, an, an activist and you could just really help people and you could be teaching people how to get generational wealth or to make abundance doing what they love as well. Yeah. That's what I got for you, pile number three. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, what's going on, pile number four? Last but never least, it is your girl, Treya, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the little subscribe down below in the bell so you get notified every time I post some new content. And if this resonates, give me a little thumbs up, baby, okay? As always, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't let it take from you. There are thousands of people watching this video. So, not every message may be for you. Um, hopefully it is. I hope that it feels like a personal. Okay, that's the intention that I set. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, baby. So, also, if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box. They are 40% off until 1-2-3, aka January 23rd. 2024 baby okay so let's get your current energy see if this is your pile if this doesn't resonate you can watch another pile watch another reading just go about your day doing what makes you happy okay you could be seeing 111 a lot you're making shifts in your mindset right now and it's like you're trying to be more strategic or create a plan pop fours energy bottom of the deck we have Rowan. <laughs> Roanoke? What the hell? <laughs> okay. There is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. You're releasing fear. You're understanding you're protected. You're either upping your protection or you're being guided to up your protection. A lot of you guys could like psychedelics. Not all of you. Just take it as it resonates. You could like mind-altering things. Maybe bud or something like that. You keep it simple. I wouldn't say that you're drinkers. Maybe you drink to celebrate. I doubt you guys are really drinkers. Some of you may be, though. I have green man. Wow. All right. Some of y'all got sex appeal, baby. <laughs> All I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this can be true for I am abundant in all that I do. You're stepping into a period of abundance because you're releasing fear. You know that you're protected. You know that what you're working on is going to grow into this huge ass tree. And you're going to have these little... Whatever these are. <laughs> protecting you. Embodiment. You're so wise. Wow. A lot of you guys don't look your age. You either look older than you are or younger than you are. <clears throat> We have earth worship as well. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear mother of mine. Mother Earth. Okay. You. Oh, shit. Wow. First of all, you guys are extremely lucky. You could be seeing 666555 and 777 and 888. But <clears throat> you're stepping into a period of luck. You guys could love nature, could recycle, do things that help the planet, help the earth. 
you're very connected to Mother Earth, Mother Gaia. Okay. And I feel like you understand that she provides abundantly, easily, consistently, constantly. We lack nothing. And that's what you're stepping into. Okay. And we have primal and it says there is no other way around, but through the very truth that lives within you, you're stepping into your truth. You're stepping into your power. You're removing the mask and you're just doing what makes you happy. You're living fearlessly you're living confidently you're focusing on building your abundance and growing whatever it is that you you're working on a lot okay you're working on how you talk to yourself how do you talk to others you're working on your beliefs you're making massive amounts of transformation you could be extremely busy or you're about to get really busy right now and i feel like you're going with a new flow and you know a lot of the things that you have focused on aka whatever would be your prey because we have this spider web here and a spider you could be seeing a lot of spiders too um also i've just found this out remove cobwebs they help to remove blockages you know what i'm saying but anyway i digress um but you are living within your truth now and you are going full force towards some type of goal it could be multiple goals or just the goal to become your true authentic self become your best self to shift your life for the better whatever it is it doesn't matter you are focused on it you're putting your energy towards it in a balanced manner and you're making the changes necessary to go towards this you're investing in yourself you're being patient with yourself and you're trusting your guidance you're trusting what lights you up you're following the flow following the feeling and everything that you have been investing in recently you could have also just got some new crystals that's random um anything that you have been investing in recently is coming you know what you have you speak things into existence and that is how things happen for you. They happen at a later date, though. I'm not going to knock this. Kind of lim similar to another... Why do I hear limerence? Some of y'all may have experienced limerence. Uh, Google it if you don't know what it is. <clears throat> I don't feel like explaining that right now. But I digress. It just randomly came up. So that could be confirmation for you. But it's like you're starting to worship yourself and instead of worshiping others or seeking validation from others. You're doing things because it makes you happy, because it's, it's what's right, because it's part of your growth. And because why not? <laughs> it's giving fuck it, you know? You're just like, fuck it all. And you're doing what brings you money. You're doing what improves your health. You're doing what feeds your mind, body, and soul. You're doing what helps others as well. You are helping others, but you're very much allowing your cup to overflow. You're filling your cup up first, and then you're letting it overflow to those who you know, invest into you, who treat you fairly and who do not, you know, mess with you in any way, shape or form. People who are messing with you, they're getting instant karma, okay? Your protection is on a hundred. It's like people can't speak your name without bad shit happening to you unless they're speaking kindly. <laughs> so if that resonates at all, then this is your reading. Let's get into uh, why are people so drawn to you? All right, pile four. Why are people so drawn to you? We have the cocoon of white light, rest in purpose perfect love, understand oneness. We have publisher. Do you have strong communication skills, literature? No. Do you have strong skills in communications, literature, or general journalism? What is happening? Throat chakra. Is Mercury hitting? Okay. Make the style. Make sure the style and content of the work is correct. Look at your written work as if it were to be published. Tap into the part of you that is a visionary wordsmith. We have gambler willingness to follow your intuition even when others doubt you we have movement choices decisions and inspires you to put compassion into action okay big emphasis on trust like i was talking about earlier you're releasing fear you're a risk taker okay you speak your mind honestly truthfully you could be a writer you could be somebody who creates content you could be a person who has a podcast who does audios and i don't know maybe you create meditations there's something about you using your voice you speak and um you speak the truth and you do it with style <laughs> and it's easy and effortless work you're a visionary you see things and you you make the choices and you make the moves you're not just gonna you don't just speak on things you again i was talking about what you speak it into existence right i'm pretty sure that was this pile and you know you have transformed a lot. <laughs> you have transformed a lot. You've made dumb decisions and you've made smart decisions. No matter what, you always have a plan or you think of a plan. You're big on like, you have a quick respond. Um, 
it's easy for you to fire back. It's easy for you to make changes. It's easy for you to read it. Red <laughs> what? <laughs> Redirect and reroute yourself, okay? Rerouting. It's like you're a GPS. You're your own GPS for life, okay? You choose the relationships, you choose what you invest in, and you choose how you make your money. And <clears throat> you're not scared of hard work, but you're the type of person who works smarter instead of working harder. It's not to say that you're not capable again, but you you've learned that it's better to, to just allow things to work for you. You know, you could be really good at delegating and people just see that you step up and you lead, okay? A lot of people leave, a lot of people are inspired by you. A lot of people trust you. A lot of people um, <laughs> want to serve you or, or because you have this like king, queen, god or goddess energy, it's like people, one, they ride for you. Two, they support you. A lot of people believe in you, believe in your vision, believe that you mean well, that you want the world to be a better place. With this, like, you're the type of person, if you became a millionaire, you're giving money out, you're helping others and investing in others instead of, you know, yeah, you use the money to spend on yourself too, but it's like, you're gonna be generous. You're not gonna, like, I don't know. Because it's like making me think of how Akon, he gave power to Africa. And Mr. Beast is doing the same thing. It's like, they're making moves. You know? And there's a lot of other millionaires and billionaires that <laughs> they're not doing it. <laughs> you have a lot of money. <laughs> people accomplished more with less money. You know? People have saved more lives with less money. And you're one of those people. And you, as you get more money, you will save people on a bigger scale and that's why people are drawn to you this is a part of your, like your life mission your life mission is why people are drawn to you you could get a lot of attention you could be very like known or in the public eye or it's easy for you to get attention and that's why you're gonna be in the public eye but yeah you're you see negative situations you know how to um, transmute them you know how to make them better you understand that everyone is connected okay everything is connected everything is energy you know the laws of the universe and you know how to work them and use them to your advantage which it seems like magic the way you live is a magical life you live this magical beautiful golden life you also have a very beautiful aura you could have a golden aura but your aura draws people in and that's why people are so drawn to you okay you also look like you could be famous for some of you and that's why people like look at you you look like an authority figure you look like you would be maybe a politician or a celebrity or something like that you look like you're important and that's why people are drawn to you they just assume blindly that you know this person is important but it's like you're walking the tightrope rope of life fearlessly and you make it across blindfolded and people are like okay well <laughs> i'm seeing like somebody standing in the middle of a road and it's like there was a huge pile of mad car accidents and everything was hit and they're just in the middle unscathed untouched you know it's because you're flexible and I don't know you have this energy to just move and, and make the right choices you're very decisive and you inspire others because people emulate you people want to copy you people want to do what you do because they see it works for you and you know you inspire others to figure out what their flow is you're not the type of person you need to do this, this, and this to be successful. You're going to be like, okay, this is what I did, okay? I failed, and there's other options that you can use, but you have to try it. You encourage people to try new things and figure out how to do life and, and what works for them and what doesn't. And, you know, you allow people to be imperfectly perfect. You accept people. You don't judge people, and that's why people are drawn to you. They feel safe in your energy. Anything else? Yeah, you're not invested in people to gain anything. You don't have an, a, a secret agenda. You're very much a giver, but you don't give to get. Like, you're not gonna hold things against people. You're not going to F people over. And you're trustworthy, but you're also, you know, very discerning as well. You have a blend of both, and that's why people are like, oh, I can trust this person. Like, they trust people, but also they trust themselves, and they're not going to do stupid things, because I've seen them deny people and accept people. 
You know, they're very choosy, but also they're not going to judge people. They give respect to all. All right, let's get into your tarot. Okie dokie, pile number four. All right, I was singing a song. Well, I heard the song and I started singing it. It's Chris Brown's song. It's never right time to say goodbye. But if I don't make the first move, no. But I gotta make the first move, cause if I don't, you're gonna start hating me. Cause I really don't feel the way I once felt about you. Girl, it's not you, it's me. I gotta, gotta figure out what I need. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get it. But clearly, it's not hard for you to say goodbye. We literally have the death and then the eight of cups. She turned her back, bro. Focus on transformation. You um, break down people's egos and that's why people are drawn to you. People see you've left people who people would think that are like high quality or people, <sighs> you've been around a lot of deceptive people. Like they look good on paper kind of vibes, but you ended up seeing the truth of the situation and you've had to move forward and People didn't understand it, and now I feel like they're starting to see people for their deceptive ways, and they're trying to. They're starting to see the full picture, and that's why people are drawn to you. People are also drawn to you because I feel like a lot of people try to start shit with you behind the scenes, but they won't say shit to your face because they're kind of scared or intimidated. Let's be real, you're very intimidating energy, but that also draws people in. <laughs> it's like you know how people like roller coasters for the thrill of it. <laughs> Oh my god, you're like a... Yeah, because we were just talking about risks too. You could be a thrill seeker. And that's why people are drawn to you. Like, you live life on the edge. But you still find time for peace and calm and serenity. You could be a beach bum. You could love to go to the beach. But at the end of the day, it's like you're a rider for the little guy. Can Again, we did have advocate. So it's like you advocate for the people, for people who are less fortunate for people who are not heard you speak up for those who need a voice those who don't feel comfortable using their voice those who don't feel comfortable standing up for themselves those who are scared okay you 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 believe in fairness and you ride for that but you also are very much a venusian energy with this justice card you're very very prim and proper and yet you it's like you're I don't know how to explain this. Like, you have a lot of different aspects to yourself. You're not this, like, cookie cutter. People can't figure you out. Blah, blah, blah. Figure you out, okay? They don't know what the complete picture is of pile number four. <laughs> it's like you are abundant. You are luxurious. You're a leader. You work hard. And then you don't have to work hard. You're very popular. But you don't spend a lot of time with people. But you're very decisive. But also, it's like sometimes you take time to really think things over. But then you also take risks because your intuition tells you. It's like wild. It's like you're such a paradox. And that's why people are so drawn to you. Because they want to figure you, figure you out. They're like, oh, now this person, this person is lying or this person is this and this person is that. Like a lot of people say that you're not who you portray yourself as, but you wear many hats. So they can't say who the fuck you are because you'll just take off that hat. Okay. I am no longer a doctor. I am. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. Like what the fuck? Like, I'm the one who's supposed to get it. You guys are the one who's supposed to get it. But I digress anyway. <laughs> yeah, but you guys. Now, I'm, Neil the Seal is relevant. I don't know if y'all know who he is. He's in Tasmania. Um, but Neil the Seal is relevant. Maybe you're from Australia. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Maybe you've ended up on that side of TikTok. But that is coming through. But like Neil... He um, doesn't let anybody tell him what to do. He's not scared of anything. And that is just like you. You are not scared to speak up. You are not scared to receive reper repercussions for whatever it is that you... You'll take the blame for others. You'll ride for others. You'll, you know... A lot of you guys could be entrepreneurs, CEOs, or a boss, manager, leader in some way, shape, or form. Or you just give all that energy. You could be your own boss, you know? And um, you're very powerful. We have Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Scorpio for sure. But it's like 
a lot of people think they know you and then all of a sudden they feel duped because they don't have the full picture. They never will ever know you. You don't even know you fully. You always discover new things about yourself anyway. And that is why people are so drawn to you because you're so talented in so many different ways. You make money easy. You could be broke one day and then the next week you got like two million, not, not two million. Okay. Let's, well, you could, I don't know, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like then the next week you got $2,000 and you're, you're, I don't know. It's giving like your life fluctuates. You've been, um, surrounded by many walks of life. You've experienced poverty. You've experienced wealth. You've experienced it all. And, um, that's how you know so much. That's why you're so wise. You're so intuitive and yes, you will take risks and you'll jump in, you know, <laughs> quickly and easily and you'll end things, you know, but only if your intuition tells you. Sometimes you need to think things over. You, you have to get everything right. Maybe, you know, it all depends. And that's why people really, really are drawn to you because you have a blend that no one can. It's like often imitated, never duplicated, you know? like Michael Jackson, everyone knows, and he's still, like, he's passed on, and you guys have a legacy, you're creating a legacy, and that's why people are drawn to you, because they see that, they can feel that. Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, like, you are heading towards financial success, you're creating it yourself, and, you know, you have to walk away and end a lot of things in order to complete yourself you know a lot of people try to deceive you by trying to make you feel incomplete trying to make you feel like you'll only be good if you're able to do this or if you look like this or do that but you accept everyone you're like it doesn't matter if you're bald it doesn't matter if you're black it doesn't matter if you're white it doesn't matter like you don't care you're connected to souls you're a loving energy you don't really see people for what they look like, for what they could provide, for where they work. You don't label people because of that. You label people because of their values, because of how they treat others. And you're very not, you're the opposite of vain, okay? Um, but you're very focused on connecting with people and you connect with others on a soul level. You're not the type of person for small talk and that's why people are drawn to you because you ask questions and you make people feel things that other people have never made them feel and you just spread love you genuinely care about people you genuinely care about the world and you want to make the world a better place you want to heal and you know a lot of you guys could be avid travelers you could be the type of person because with this libra energy you talk to anybody it's not to say that you'll give people access to you all the time but you're not afraid to talk to people you're not afraid you're not bougie you're not going to be like don't talk to me it's not like you could be like the type of celebrity who talks to people and actually engages with their fans and actually cares about their fans instead of just looking for an ego boost and acting like because i'm seeing from this show i was watching this girl she was like yeah da, da, da. and then she was like um saying oh i'm gonna meet you guys i can't i'm so excited but she really didn't care about her fans she was just like labeling them as like Oh, it's just a number. Like, instead of, like, subscribers. Like, oh, it's just a subscriber. But these are genuine people who support you. Who believe in you. Who you made an impact and they're making an impact on you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got for you. Wait, anything else? Oh, people are drawn to you because they would honestly like to date you. They want to figure, figure you out. They see that you have a lot of options. Plenty of fish in the sea to, um choose from you're very loving mysterious and it's like you're hard to catch you're hard to get a grasp on like i'm seeing somebody like trying to grab like i don't know something slippery and slimy Sli maybe slime and then just sh shoots out of your hand that's like you <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that <laughs> to catch pile four but um yeah you guys are abundant you're beautiful handsome and you have a healing energy and that is why people are drawn to you. You make people feel better. You leave things better than when you came in for everything. <laughs> okay? You also could be good at baking or you have a sweet tooth. But you're very sweet too. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.